Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Western Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, hey, it looks like this week cattle producers voiced their concerns with the EPA's and Army Corps of Engineers ongoing Waters of the U.S. rulemaking attempt at a roundtable organized by the Kansas Livestock Association. NCBA Environmental Council Mary Thomas Hart told government officials that to be successful in their operations, cattle producers need a clear and limited WOTUS definition that finally provides some much needed certainty after years of shifting rules. In addition to the roundtables, NCBA has engaged on WOTUS by submitting technical comments on the Biden administration's proposed phase one wrote WOTUS rule, as well as filing an amiscus brief in the case Sackett versus EPA. And you can bet WOTUS will be just one of the many topics up for discussion at the Wyoming Stock Growers Association's 150th anniversary convention and celebration this week in Cheyenne. In some other news, you know, after soaring to record levels, fertilizer prices are finally starting to ease a little bit, but still remain at historic levels. Issues, though, to watch include Russia's exports of fertilizer that are now starting to find homes around the world which will help boost global fertilizer supplies and even China's pending announcement on whether or not it'll export fertilizer products. Of course, if they do, that'll also increase supplies. But in the meantime, fertilizer experts say if farmers are going to sell their grain, it's a pretty good idea to buy some of their inputs. And if they're gonna buy some of their inputs, on the other side of the coin, it's a pretty good idea to sell some of their grain. Without question, it's been a crazy, crazy year to say the least. When farmers have seen fertilizer prices fall as much as 30% in one day while overall experiencing fertilizer prices that have skyrocketed 133% in the past year. Stay with us. We'll have more ag news right after this. Yay. Beef being a nutrient-dense food is a really good option. It's really easy for them to grasp. First it was just ground beef and purees, and now he loves steak. Imagine income for life, saving money on your taxes. And helping troubled children. Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch Foundation gift annuities generate lifetime income with payout rates as high as 8.6%. Visit us online at yellowstonefoundation.org. Well, last night, Good Grazing Makes Sense, a new program by the Society for Range Management, along with the Rancher Stewardship Alliance, held a unique and virtual panel discussion driven specifically by real ranchers with real questions answered by real experts. SRM's Director of Programs, Kayla Walker, tells us more about Good Grazing Makes Sense and its mission to provide practical, applicable, and economically feasible range management solutions. Good Grazing Makes Sense is a relatively new program by the Society for Range Management and um, we're just trying to connect uh, a lot of our range scientists with ranchers that are going to apply that and going to use that knowledge. Um, so through Good Grazing Makes Sense, we have monthly newsletters, we've got monthly videos, there's a Facebook group with um, constant interactive conversation, and uh, members also get access to a list of range consultants with qu any question you could possibly have. And she says for more information and to become a member, just visit goodgrazing.org. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.